Hello, I'm Robin Greer, president of Catalyst Communications Technologies. I'd like to show you IP Console, Catalyst's full feature primary dispatch solution. Public safety, utility, federal, and other agencies are currently using IP Console. Over the last 15 years, Catalyst has perfected the proprietary interfaces to various radio manufacturers' mobile radios. This interface provides advanced features like unit ID and emergency. More recently, Catalyst has implemented the Wireline Project 25 interfaces for dispatch the console subsystem interface, and the fixed station interface. I'd like to show you these two along with the P25 common air interface and some other valuable features of the Catalyst IP console. Let's begin with CSSI. You'll see on the right here that we have four small modules that are each dedicated to a single Trump talk group. Audio and control messages for these talk groups come across a single internet protocol connection to the IP console. We are monitoring all four of these talk groups regardless of the number of channels in the trunk system and other activity. I can easily select any one of those, push my foot switch and transmit on that talk group. Similarly, I can instant transmit on any of those talk groups, even preempting the audio of a subscriber unit in the field. Second, we'll look at the fixed station interface. For this demonstration, Catalyst is connected to the Daniels MT4 base station. This is a base station that operates on one channel at a time, but Catalyst has full control to change any channel that's programmed into that base station. And you'll see that when a field unit transmits on it, you get the unit ID converted to an alias for that individual radio. And I can talk back again use an instant transmit or the foot switch on that particular module. Finally the common air interface another P25 standard. In this case we're connected to the Harris M7300 mobile radio. Harris has recently created a supported control interface for that radio and Catalyst has partnered with Harris in that implementation. Catalyst has full control over that radio, not only to select the channel or the talk group, but also we can select the zone or system that the radio is selected to. So I could select an EDAC system, a P25 trunk system, or conventional channels. And again, when a radio keys up on that channel, I get the unit ID. In this case, I've chosen to leave it as the numeric version rather than to convert it to an alias. The Catalyst system is incredibly scalable. In this particular implementation, you see nine modules across the top of the screen. Five of, are these controllable modules for control stations and base stations for the direct connection for the console subsystem interface. Behind these, on another tab, I have seven more modules. I could have just as easily put all 17 modules or more on this one page. This is an infinitely configurable, scalable solution. Another important feature is the emergency function. Again, Catalyst has the advanced interface to a variety of radio systems. I'll show digital mobile radio here, and you'll see when I push the emergency button on this radio, the Catalyst console beeps. I've got the ability to turn that beeping off to alert the dispatcher that the emergency has come in. And if you look down in our call history window, you'll see that that call is highlighted in red with the unit ID, the alias, the talk group, 
and a timestamp of exactly when that subscriber pushed his emergency button. Another important feature of the Catalyst console is its integration with IntelliLink, Catalyst interoperability solution. With IP console, we use IntelliLink technology for patching. In addition to the traditional method of being able to patch any module to any module on a console, Catalyst provides the ability for a system administrator to allocate pre-configured patches that are specific to channels or specific to modules as the system administrator sees fit giving your agency the power to control for each dispatcher, each shift, each function that they might perform, exactly what they are allowed to patch in that scenario. Catalyst IntelliLink uh, technology uh, carefully manages that audio so that no syllables are lost. I'd like to demonstrate a an intelligent patch between a utility channel, the generation channel, and a specific Verizon push to talk phone, the phone that belongs to Major Smith. What you'll see in this demonstration is that when I key this radio on the generation talk group, that my catalyst interface will retune the Verizon interface to Major Smith's phone. Then the Catalyst system buffers that audio until the Verizon system sends a confirmation back to us telling us it's safe to begin transmitting the audio. Now transmitting on the generation talk group you'll see that I'm have reconfigured to go out to Major Smith's phone And all the audio, every syllable that I transmitted, got sent out over the Verizon system for critical communications. All of Catalyst products are rapidly available, expandable, and repairable. This is true because Catalyst has designed our solution using commercial off-the-shelf hardware that is readily available from multiple manufacturers. This is true because we have an excellent support staff standing ready to meet your unique needs. And this is true because we have designed an intuitive product that is easy to configure and streamlines the training process. Again, making Catalyst products rapidly available, expandable, and repairable. I invite you to watch other videos on the IP console and IntelliLink, as well as additional videos on propulsion and desktop dispatch. I also invite you to visit our website or give us a call so that you too might gain the power to control.